Sound needs a medium. Sound is produced by the vibrations of an object. The sound waves travel through a medium, whether the medium be a solid, a liquid or a gas. Sound cannot travel through vacuum and it can be proved by this experiment. Materials required are water, bottle, stopper for the bottle, pencil, small bell and a thread. The procedure involves the following steps. Make a hole at the center of the bottle stopper. Insert a pencil through this hole. Tie a small bell at the lower end of the pencil. Fit the stopper on the bottle. Make sure that the bell rings when the pencil is moved. Remove stopper with bell and pencil. Take a little water in a bottle. Fit back the bottle stopper with pencil. Heat the bottle on the flame. Let the water in the bottle boil. Remove the flame. After a little while, when the bottle cools down, move the pencil a little. You would see that the bell is also moving but hear no sound of its tinkle. Now, remove the stopper and then refit it. This time, if you shake the bottle, you can clearly hear the sound of the bell. How it happens? The water in the flask changes into steam which pushes out the air from the flask. The entire steam changes back into water when the cork is fixed airtight on the bottle and the bottle is allowed to cool. Thus, a partial vacuum is created in the flask because the outside air cannot enter the flask to fill the vacuum. As soon as the stopper is removed, the outside air enters the flask speedily and fills the vacuum. So now, you are able to hear the sound which you could not hear earlier. The reason is that the waves of sound need a medium for travelling from one place to another. They cannot pass through vacuum.